101955 Bennu provisional designation 1999 RQ36 is a carbonaceous asteroid in the Apollo group discovered by the Linear Project on the 11th of September 1999. It is a potentially hazardous object that is listed on the Sentry Risk Table with the second highest cumulative rating on the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale. It has a cumulative 1 in minus 2,700 chance of impacting Earth between 2,175 and 2,199. It is named after the Bennu, the ancient Egyptian mythological bird associated with the sun, creation, and rebirth. 101,955 Bennu has a mean diameter of approximately 492 meters (1,614 feet, 0.306 miles) and has been observed extensively with the Arecibo Observatory Planetary Radar and the Goldstone Deep Space Network. Bennu is the target of the OSIRIS-REx mission, which is intended to return samples to Earth in 2023 for further study. On 3 December 2018, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at Bennu after a two-year journey. Before attempting to obtain a sample from the asteroid, it will map out Bennu's surface in detail and orbit the asteroid to calculate its mass. On 18 June 2019, NASA announced that OSIRIS-REx managed to get even closer and capture a shot at a distance of 0.4 miles kilometers from the Bennu's surface. Topic. Discovery and observation Bennu was discovered on of September 1999 during a near-Earth asteroid survey by the Lincoln Near-Earth Asteroid Research Linear. The asteroid was designated 1999 RQ-36 and classified a near-Earth asteroid. Bennu approached close to Earth and it was observed extensively by the Arecibo Observatory and the Goldstone Deep Space Network using radar imaging as Bennu closely approached Earth on 23 September 1999. Naming The name Bennu was selected from more than 8,000 student entries from dozens of countries around the world who entered a Name That Asteroid contest run by the University of Arizona, the Planetary Society, and the Linear Project in 2012. Third grade student Michael Puzio from North Carolina proposed the name in reference to the Egyptian mythological bird Bennu. To Puzio, the Osiris Rex spacecraft with its extended TAGSAM arm resembled the Egyptian deity, which is typically depicted as a heron. Physical characteristics Bennu has a roughly spheroidal shape, resembling a spinning top. Bennu's axis of rotation is tilted 176 degrees to its orbit, the direction of rotation about its axis is retrograde with respect to its orbit. Bennu has a fairly smooth shape with one prominent 10 to 20 meters boulder on its surface. In the southern hemisphere, there is a well defined ridge along the equator of Bennu. The presence of this ridge suggests that fine grained regolith particles have accumulated in this area, possibly because of its low gravity and fast rotation. Observations by the OSIRIS REx spacecraft has shown that Bennu is rotating faster over time. This change in Bennu's rotation is caused by the yarkovsky okeefe radzieski paddock effect, or the YORP effect. Due to the uneven emission of thermal radiation from its surface as Bennu rotates in sunlight, the rotation period of Bennu decreases by about one second every 100 years. Observations of this minor planet by the Spitzer Space Telescope in 2007 gave an effective diameter of 484 plus or minus 10 meters, which is in line with other studies. It has a low visible geometric albedo of 0.046 plus or minus 0.005. The thermal inertia was measured and found to vary by approximately 19% during each rotational period. The data suggest that the regolith grain size is moderate, ranging from several millimeters up to a centimeter, and evenly distributed. 
No emission from a potential dust coma has been detected around Bennu, which puts a limit of 106 grams of dust within a radius of 4,750 kilometers. Astrometric observations between 1999 and 2013 have demonstrated that 101,955 Bennu is influenced by the Yarkovsky effect, causing the semi-major axis to drift on average by 284 plus or minus 1.5 meters per year. Analysis of the gravitational and thermal effects has given a bulk density of Rho equals 1260 plus or minus 70 kilograms per cubic meter, which is only slightly denser than water. Therefore, the predicted macroporosity is 40 plus or minus 10 percent, suggesting the interior has a rubble pile structure. The estimated mass is 7.8 plus or minus 0 0.9 times 1010 kilogram equals topic photometry and spectroscopy equals photometric observations of Bennu in 2005 yielded a synodic rotation period of 4.2905 plus or minus 0.0065h it has a B-type classification, which is a subcategory of carbonaceous asteroids. Polarimetric observations show that Bennu belongs to the rare F subclass of carbonaceous asteroids, which is usually associated with cometary features. Measurements over a range of phase angles showed a phase function slope of 0 0.040 magnitudes per degree, which is similar to other near-Earth asteroids with low albedo. Preliminary spectroscopic surveys of the asteroid's surface by OSIRIS-REx spacecraft detected the presence of hydrated minerals in the form of clay. While researchers suspect that Bennu was too small to host water, the hydroxyl groups may have come from water presence in its parent body before Bennu split off equals topic origin and evolution equals the carbonaceous material that composes Bennu originally came from the breakup of a much larger parent body a planetoid or a protoplanet but like nearly all other matter in the solar system, the origins of its minerals and atoms are to be found in dying stars such as red giants and supernovae. According to the accretion theory, this material came together 4.5 billion years ago during the formation of the solar system. Bennu's basic mineralogy and chemical nature would have been established during the first 10 million years of the solar system's formation, where the carbonaceous material underwent some geologic heating and chemical transformation inside a much larger planetoid or a protoplanet capable of producing the requisite pressure, heat and of course the hydration, if need be, into more complex minerals. Bennu probably began in the inner asteroid belt as a fragment from a larger body with a diameter of 100 km. Simulations suggest a 70% chance it came from the Polana family and a 30% chance it derived from the Eulalia family. Subsequently, the orbit drifted as a result of the Yarkovsky effect and mean motion resonances with the giant planets, such as Jupiter and Saturn. Various interactions with the planets in combination with the Yarkovsky effect modified the asteroid, possibly changing its spin, shape, and surface features. Salino et al. have suggested a possible cometary origin for Bennu, based on similarities of its spectroscopic properties with known comets. The estimated fraction of comets in the population of near Earth asteroids is 8% plus or minus 5%. Topic Orbit Topic Possible Earth Impact On average, an asteroid with a diameter of 500 meters (1,600 feet, 0.31 miles) can be expected to impact Earth about every 130,000 years or so. A 2010 dynamical study by Andrea Milani and collaborators predicted a series of eight potential Earth impacts by Bennu between 2169 and 2199. The cumulative probability of impact is dependent on physical properties of Bennu that were poorly known at the time, but was found to not exceed 0.071% for all eight encounters. 
The authors recognized that an accurate assessment of 101,955 Bennu's probability of Earth impact would require a detailed shape model and additional observations either from the ground or from spacecraft visiting the object to determine the magnitude and direction of the Yarkovsky effect. The publication of the shape model and of astrometry based on radar observations obtained in 1999, 2005, and 2011, made possible an improved estimate of the Yarkovsky acceleration and a revised assessment of the impact probability. The current as of 2014, best estimate of the impact probability is a cumulative probability of 0.037% in the interval 2175-2196. This corresponds to a cumulative score on the Palermo scale of minus 1.71. If an impact were to occur, the expected kinetic energy associated with the collision would be 1,200 megatons in TNT equivalent for comparison, TNT equivalent of little boy was approximately 15 kiloton. Topic. 2060 close approach. Bennu will pass 0.0050 750,000 kilometers 460,000 miles from Earth on the 23rd of September 2060 and will be too dim to be seen with common binoculars. The close approach of 2060 causes divergence in the close approach of 2135. On 25 September 2135, the nominal approach distance is 0.0020 km, miles from Earth, but Bennu could pass as close as 0.00070 km, miles. There is no chance of an Earth impact in 2135. The 2135 approach will create many lines of variations and Bennu may pass through a gravitational keyhole during the 2135 passage which could create an impact scenario at a future encounter. The keyholes are all less than 55 kilometers wide. On the 25th of September 2175, there is a 1 in 24,000 chance of an Earth impact, but the nominal 2175 approach is in February 2175 at a distance of roughly 0.10, 15 million kilometers, 9,300,000 miles. The most threatening virtual impactor is on 24 September 2196 when there is a 1 in 11,000 chance of an Earth impact. There is a cumulative 1 in 2,700 chance of an Earth impact between 2175-2199. Long term Loretta et al. reported in 2015 their results of a computer simulation, concluding that it is more likely that 101,955 Bennu will be destroyed by some other cause. The orbit of Bennu is intrinsically dynamically unstable, as are those of all NEOs. In order to glean probabilistic insights into the future evolution and likely fate of Bennu beyond a few hundred years, we tracked 1,000 virtual Bennus. For an interval of 300 MYR with the gravitational perturbations of the planets Mercury-Neptune included. Our results indicate that Bennu has a 48% chance of falling into the Sun. There is a 10% probability that Bennu will be ejected out of the inner solar system, most likely after a close encounter with Jupiter. The highest impact probability for a planet is with Venus 26%, followed by the Earth 10%, and Mercury 3%. The odds of Bennu striking Mars are only 0.8% and there is a 0.2% chance that Bennu will eventually collide with Jupiter. Topic: <laughs> Meteor shower The small Earth MOID may result in a weak meteor shower around September 25 radiating from the southern constellation of Sculptor. The meteors are expected to be near the naked eye limit and only produce a zenith hourly rate of less than 1. <laughs> Osiris-Rex 
The OSIRIS-REx mission of NASA's New Frontiers program was launched towards 101,955 Bennu on September 8, 2016. On December 3, 2018, the spacecraft arrived at the asteroid Bennu after a two-year journey. One week later, at the American Geophysical Union Fall Meeting, investigators announced that OSIRIS-REx had discovered spectroscopic evidence for hydrated minerals on the surface of the asteroid, implying that liquid water was present in Bennu's parent body. OSIRIS-REx is expected to return samples to Earth in 2023. Selection Bennu was selected from over 500,000 known asteroids by the OSIRIS-REx Selection Committee. The primary constraint for selection was close proximity to Earth, since proximity implies low impulse delta v required to reach an object from Earth orbit. The criteria stipulated an asteroid in an orbit with low eccentricity, low inclination, and an orbital radius of 0.8 to 1.60. Furthermore, the candidate asteroid for a sample return mission must have loose regolith on its surface, which implies a diameter greater than 200 meters. Asteroids smaller than this typically spin too fast to retain dust or small particles. Finally, a desire to find an asteroid with pristine carbon material from the early solar system, possibly including volatile molecules and organic compounds, reduced the list further. With the above criteria applied, five asteroids remained as candidates for the OSIRIS-REx mission, and Bennu was chosen, in part for its potentially hazardous orbit. Gallery See also List of minor planets and comets visited by spacecraft section notes 341843-2008 EV-5, provisional target of the cancelled asteroid redirect mission